President Buhari receives report on the minimum wage 30,000 Naira as recommended. Buhari to take prompt action on recommendation. And the National Assembly makes a U-turn on the uh, source of deductions of the monies for the 2019 general elections as lawmakers today amend approval for the 2009 elections budget. Hello everyone, many thanks for joining in. This is Politics Today, live on channels television. I'm Shiwa Kimbaloye, live for you. Now Abuja Studio, the nation's capital. Well, it is 102 days, uh, or 101 days to the general election. And as the day gets closer, the heat gets hotter. But let's get you some latest updates uh, coming from the seat of power and perhaps a way to resolving the lingering crises on workers' wages. So what would have ended in a worker stri strike across the nation today was averted. Back and forth between the government and the Nigerian workers for several weeks now. Today, the Top Tide Committee on Review of the Nigerian Minimum Wage for Workers has recommended 30,000 Naira to the federal government. The committee submitted its report to President Muhammad Buhari at a presidential villa in Abuja. The president thanked the members for their efforts, promising to send an executive bill to the National Assembly for approval. He, however, warned workers against allowing themselves to be used as bulwark. But then, let's tell you more about some of the political stories we are following for you in our political roundup. The aircraft conveying the Prince of Wales and heir to the British throne, Prince Charles, arrived in Namdi Azikiwe International Airport in the nation's capital, Abuja. Accompanied by his wife, Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, Prince Charles was received by some Nigerian government and British diplomatic officials upon arrival. After inspecting a guard of honor mounted by the men of the Nigerian army, the royal visitors left for the presidential villa, where they are received by President Buhari. During their visit to Nigeria, the Royal Highnesses will also undertake a series of engagements in Abuja and Lagos. As a follow-up to the report on the alleged kidnap of the Deputy Senate President, Senator Ikwere Madu's son, the Senate is asking its Committee on Police Affairs to interface with the police and ascertain why they allegedly failed to respond quickly to the alleged invasion of the residents of the Deputy Senate President by armed men in the early hours of today. At the resumption of plenary, Senator Korimadu informed the Senate about the assassination attempt and expressed dissatisfaction with the police over their delayed response on the matter. Four members of the House of Representatives have announced their defection from the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC. The lawmakers are Abiodu Awoleye Dada, Samuel Shagun Williams, Lawali Hassan Anka, and Lama Deshino. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Yakubu Dogara, announced the defections on Tuesday during plenary. Mr. Awoleye Dada defected to the Accord Party, Shagun Williams Labour Party, Lawali Hassan Anka to the People's Democratic Party, while Mr. Adishino defected to the African Democratic Congress.